Welcome to Ad Breakers. It's the show where we get the best creatives in the industry to score three TV ads out of five. I'm strutting up to the kitchen, whipping up to a rhythm, and the mission is cooking up something that we've been missing. That's quite fun, isn't it? Yeah, the energy's good. You certainly get pulled in by the certainly the music gets you tapping, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you get pulled into it for sure. Yeah. What's that? Oh, you want some more? Wondering what we got in store? With a veg on a chopping board, so fresh it'll make you drop your jaw. Well, they're trying to, they're framing it as if I'm watching it on my phone, so we're yeah. trying to get to make it feel social. Yeah, and it is, it kind of ticks all those, um, it ticks all the, you know, the kitchens all around the UK, and yeah. we've got the, uh, yes. the, the baker, and we've got obviously diversity. Diversity of all sorts yeah. in there, that's good. Sing it to me now. Yeah. Yeah. I will be cooking. Like that, I like that trying to reactivate that line, that live well line. It's, yeah. it's kind of fun and making it a yeah. bit, bit more modern, so I suppose that's good. Yeah. So how did you feel about brand new Sainsbury's? <laughs> brand new Sainsbury's? Yeah. You know, it's funny, because for our industry, like Sainsbury's was such a phenomenal campaign, like, like one of the great old school campaigns, yeah. you know, and, for, and Abbott Mead did such an amazing job with it. Mm. But, um, you know, it's, it, it's interesting that they have to move on. It's cool that they've had to move it on. It's nice that they've contemporized it. For me, anyway, I like I like the energy of it. Mm. I don't feel Sainsbury's has energy as a store. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I go into them, it feels the ex exact opposite. So it's quite nice that they're sort of sort of breathing a bit of life into the thing. Okay, Laura. Okay. In two sentences, yeah. what's your score going to be for this one? And well, why? okay, my score is going to be a three point five. Um, I think, uh, in my mind, it's about a 7 out of 10, so 3.5. Uh, and I think, you know, I, I love the fact they have found this really unique, interesting moment. And I love the fact they're trying something different. And I love the fact that this widens ad doesn't feel like a widens ad. You know, it, it's, uh, it feels really refreshing. So um, I, would l I just really want to see where they're going to take it from here. Well, 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 well. How about you? How about me? Drum roll. Drum roll, drum roll. Actually... I've also gone 3.5, <laughs> there you go. Um, I just, I mean, I, I agree with what you're saying. I, I also think it's a, it's, a, it's a very, very energetic piece of work. Mm. It's not typically widened. But I actually think, I'm not so much impressed by the actual advertising, although it's very well done, very well crafted. But I, I'm really impressed by it as a marketing thing. I think it's just a very brave move, A, to pick widen, B, yep. to let, them, let the guys do what they do well and, mm. and let them tap into culture like that. It's really cool. Very, um, Brave, it's brave work. Yep. Brave work by the client, brave work <laughs> yep. by Wyden, so yep. good all round. Right, let's uh, watch the next one, shall we? If you say so, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Welcome to Ordinary World. Enjoy the magic and excitement of normal everyday life. Meet all your favorite characters. Ride the bus, climb the stairs, and away you go. You immediately get that the feeling like the, this kind of the magic of the everyday right it's the magic of the great british public it's the least interesting places yeah it's sort of ban it's sort of this banal thing they're trying to project that ordinary world is it yeah obviously going out of the way to make it feel boring and fe feel nothing special yeah I guess. exactly you know just everything from actually really just the, the way it's shot to the special effects is mm. not anything particularly you know magical all some children dream of is getting back to the ordinary world. It's almost unavoidable at some point where the language just starts becoming ad-like, self-consciously ad-like. Yeah. I'm talking about the, the, yeah. the, the rain scene in particular, it starts getting a bit, mm, a bit yeah. trying, just a little bit harder than perhaps it should. But listen, some things almost transcend criticism, I think, at the end of the day, trying to do something for Great Ormond Street is, is an extraordinary thing to try yeah, to do I and to try to do it differently is, is it's really really commendable where upside down fountains send sprinkles from the sky ordinary world i guess the the other thing to think about is you know if you're working on new platforms things like facebook for example mm. um where you have to write films almost completely the opposite way around now yep. you can't play a film for a you know mm. even an engaging film for um for a minute to wait to find out what it's mm. for. Sure. All of that stuff has to be brought yeah. up front and then you kind of play the story afterwards. Yeah. It'd be interesting you know, again to see, mm. see how that works because that's the way that people's, you know, people are starting to think about content when they're... It's much more aware. I mean, yeah. you have to be aware of what the, 
what, what you're saying and how you're saying it and, yeah. and who the, how the audience view it. Although having said that, I suspect like many of these things, it probably runs like three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, that's with probably right. My lovely yes. old mum sitting staring yeah. at it, and Ben, she's she'll, she's got all the time in the world to stare at it, probably. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, but I agree with you. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel particularly modern communications to me. Yeah. It feels a little bit from a different era. But yeah. So, Logan, what did you reckon? I find I, I must be honest. This is really tough stuff to look at, but I and and to judge. I do think there was a moment where. Weirdly, it ended up feeling just as manipulative mm. at that switch moment because it held you so long and then switched. So bold effort, but it didn't quite nail it for me. I'm sorry. So um, harsh, but I think it's a 2.5 for me. Sorry. Yeah. And, f and for me, the same. I think uh, uh, these briefs are incredibly hard. They've worked really f hard to find a different angle. Mm. Um, it does kind of make you take a, you know, take a, I guess, look at it the second time around, um, you know, when, when the little girl comes in, but it just, it was just a little bit too laboured. And mm. because of that, it just didn't feel honest. So um, although it's a really, really brave effort, as you said, um, I've got to give it a two as well. So that is 4.5 wow. in total. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Shall, shall we go on to the next one? Let's go on to the next Let's one. Let's go on to the Let's next, go on one, to the shall next we? one, I think so. I need something to cheer me up. Love a drone, love a drone yeah. shot. Ooh. I know, it's so beautifully shot. <laughs> it is lovely shot. Reminds me a little bit of lots of other brands I've seen before. <laughs> yeah, it feels very, obviously it feels very athletics, doesn't yes, it? It does. It's very well. sports trainer. Oh, David. David. <laughs> Ding. I love the variety though. Mm, well. that's, I mean, that's really interesting. And I like some of these kind of more mm. interesting athletes as well. Obviously they're all famous, but it's a bit mm. broader than, you know, again, what you'd usually get. Look, whenever they had those like, like, I don't know, 300 people, which is a beautiful shot beautiful. from the drone, yeah. doing the same move yeah. the whole time. And then one guy breaks the mold. For yeah. me, that's just like, that's like almost saying that Chinese people are all within this sort of way of that's really, living. That's really interesting. And, and he's breaking out and it's sort of like, hey, yeah. and it just felt a little bit off to me. I don't know, but maybe yeah. I'm overthinking a little bit. Yeah, but, but that's really interesting because I, I didn't get that sense at all. Um, and I do think, you know, I, I like the, like absolute sheer beauty of it and I like the rawness and I like the um you know getting a, 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 the fact mm. it's a little bit looser mm. than the usual stuff you see from Adidas or from Nike or from whoever or from whoever but I'm not sure whether if I'm honest it really breaks that mold enough I don't think it does for me this is kind of prosaic if I'm being really honest yeah. it's beautiful yeah it's beautiful but prosaic but and you go like yep, yep. yeah okay yeah, yeah it's nice I've seen that shot then people running about. So I'm being yeah. a little bit more critical of it. I mean, obviously mm -hmm. it's, for the chi it's for the Chinese market, but Totally that's in love with the DOP though, and, and the grade. <laughs> <laughs> Good grade. Alrighty, what do you reckon, Laura? Oh, the, the, I guess this is kind of a hard one. I'm really torn, and I would love someone from China on the jury, <laughs> because I think, you know, I think that would actually be really important for the, help. you know, yeah. would really, really help. Um, but I think um, I'm going to give it a three. Three. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe someone from China on the jury would have helped because I think there are cultural things there that maybe we might be misinterpreting. Mm -hmm. But um, I did think it was a, a two point five. Well, for lots of reasons, it's up against. It's in a very tough category, yeah. and I don't think it's a great piece of work for the category. It's not a bad piece of work, but it's yeah. not a great piece yeah. of work. It feels like a little bit of a well-trodden path. It does. Yeah. It, it yeah. So. Uh, so 2.5. 5.5. Wow. Yeah. So, um, well, that's 5.5. So that we have a clear winner. We do then, in Sainsbury's. Say. Sainsbury's. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah, I think the Sainsbury's stuff I mean, from the three, it certainly was, it felt like it was trying to do something different. Yeah, trying to do something different and as a piece of marketing rather than as an ad. So this is a beautiful ad, but it's mm. not necessarily the best piece of marketing. Yeah. Uh, whereas, you know, Sainsbury's is really trying to push themselves forward in a different way. And I think yeah. that has to be important. Yeah. yeah, I think so. It's all fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Give them that. Give them yeah. that. Lovely seeing you. Good to see you too. Thank you. Thanks. 
So Sainsbury's and its feel-good vibes claim the top spot this week with a groovy 7 out of 10. Join us again next time for more ad breakers. Welcome to Ad Breakers. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Let's have fun alienating the adults. It's the show where we get the best creatives in the industry to score three TV ads out of five. Noget tyder på at ukomfortable omgivelser. Rather appropriately, giving it a uh, three. Watch the full episode of Ad Breakers only on the drum.